So it's Saturday 9 June here. It's Harbor Fest. We're downtown here in Norfolk. We're going to go over and see the festivities. they got tall ships, sailing ships, Coast Guard ships. They've got uh, tugboats and they've got all kinds of competitions. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting to the harbor here now. We're going to check out the tall ships, sailing ships. We're doing some old ships here. Let's uh, check them out. All different colors. There's blue ones, no white ones. So we made it to the harbor here. Look at this really old sailing vessel. It's got the big tall sails, big tall mast. So let's go check out, walk on it, and see what it's like. Right, so we're checking out the sailing vessel from the 1600s. It's a replica built in the 1990s. So that's the big sailing vessel from the 1600s. Okay, so that's the sailing vessel that was recreated. That was really cool. Thank you. Thank you. It's got a beautiful color of blue. It's got the big American flag here and the large sails that weigh uh, over 2,000 pounds. Sailing boats, power vessels, and yachts. Look at the size of this yacht here. So we're downtown in the Waterside District here. That's where the harbor is, that's where the boats are, and that's where they have all the events. So here, check out these tugboats. There goes the water taxi that goes across from Norfolk over to the Portsmouth side. It's a fast way to get across the river and it's really efficient. Here's some really nice tugboats here. They have tugboat races. Now. There's the horn. <laughs> so the tugboats are really important for construction around here. There's a lot of construction on the water so the tugboats move the barges around and to get them all set up and maneuver the uh, equipment they need to build the piers and work on different ships and everything. Okay, there's a helicopter here. Here comes a, uh, let's say a medevac helicopter. Maneuver all the equipment. They need really strong engines and they have really big propellers. And they're very maneuverable so they can maneuver the equipment as they need as necessary. Alright, so we're here. This is where all the workboats are on the Chesapeake Bay. They've used the workboats to get the oysters and the crabs and fish. So they're designed specifically to get out to the water quickly, get their catch, and pull their catch back in as fast as possible. They're pretty high performance boats. They got big engines in them up to a thousand horsepower. So there'll be a drag boat race tomorrow afternoon to see which boat is the fastest one. People are so friendly, they've got all kinds of cool boats, flags, they're cooking out and they're grilling, they're enjoying the beautiful sunshine.
super nice people here on these work boats. They make a living on their boat, fishing, crabbing, and oystering. Sure, sure. Sailing boats, power boats, work boats, tug boats, and tall sailing ships. It's pretty cool to see all the different boats. The people are all friendly and nice, explaining what they do and what their boats are all about. So behind me is what would be a traditional schooner that would go up and down the Chesapeake Bay. They use it for sunset cruises and uh, tours along the uh, Chesapeake Bay and the uh, York River. We'll check out more of these sailing vessels here. This is the U.S. Navy patrol craft. All right, so we got a coastal patrol craft here. They've got remote guns. They do a lot of uh, security protection and patrolling the shore waters. And they have very highly skilled people who drive and uh, provide the protection and the operating the guns and weapons system. Pretty cool system. Check it out. The Godspeed sailing vessel. Hey guys, you all How are you doing? Pretty well. And you, sir? What kind of boat is this? This here is Godspeed. Godspeed. So is it like a schooner or? She's actually, if you're referring to the rig, called a bark. A bark. Well, that's her. This is where they steer the ship. They move the uh, rudder back and forth like this, and that's how they made it all across the Atlantic. All right, so that's a tour of the Godspeed uh, ship. It's this kind of ship would sail across the Atlantic to bring the uh, early settlers from Virginia, and they would sail across the Atlantic about 145 days or so to get across. And there would be about 140 people that live in the hold underneath on this small little ship. Kind of crazy to think that those uh, people made it all the way across the Atlantic. Let's check out some more ships. So this is the Sultana ship here. This is a, a schooner from the late 1700s, about the 1768 period. This kind of ship was used to uh, transit up and down the East Coast, trading and moving cargo. It was also a replica of a ship that was used when they enforced the uh, tea taxes um, in the Boston Tea Party. So this is the kind of ship that would be traditional to the late 1700s. Big sailing vessel, big mast, a lot of crew to keep it all maintenance and maintained. The ship here is used for uh, schooling and purposes for training uh, along the Chesapeake Bay. Pretty cool. They build boats and they'll race them out in the water to see uh, which one's better, faster, and more capable than the other. They have about four hours to build the boat from start to finish. All right, so that's going to be the end of the Harbor Fest 2018. We got to see the tall ships, navy boats, work boats, sailboats, and power boats. It was a lot of fun. We'll come back tonight and see the big fireworks show, one of the biggest ones on the East Coast and we'll be able to see the demonstration there. So we'll see you on, uh, later tonight.
So we're back here at the Harbor Fest. We got the fireworks about to start here in about five minutes or so. We got the big tall ships to make a good view, and we'll see what the fireworks are. Let's go find a good seat. Y'all have just witnessed one of the largest fireworks display taking place on the East Coast. Wasn't it great? 
All right, so that's the end of Harbor Fest 2018. We had the fireworks display. It was really awesome to the music. We got to see the tall ships, the work boats, the sailboats, and all the different yachts. It was really cool, so we'll come again next year. Look at that giant Ferris wheel up here.